I feel like you should buy that and put that together. 520 pieces. Maybe I should. <laughs> Challenge accepted. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Okay, well today we are at Goodwill. We are at the Shillington Goodwill and Dagny is meeting us here. We're going to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. We have a vintage plate there. There's no markings on it though. Here's one of those neat music um, things. kind of sideways though. <laughs> leaning a little bit. It's a pretty cool, I don't know. I don't see a price on it. That looks promising, but it turns out to be plastic. I thought it was a bunny on a nest. There's some pretty little stitchery. Oh my gosh, the second one is the lamp. I was gonna point out that this one is damaged and then this one just popped out. Look at that, $2.99. I'm definitely gonna grab that. It's got a lamp on it. I like the glaze on that. It's 2019. It's $1.99. I don't know. I think I'll leave that one behind. This looks like something here. Ross made in China. Here is a um, gravy boat. Looks like maybe Shenango. Let's see what the says under there. It says something that I can't read. But it's $3.99. Oh look, some of these monograms on there. Oh, it looks like that's got damage on it. It looks like they both have damage on them. Both of them have the same leaf broken. <laughs> it's disappointing. Walked right by this. That's pretty. Oh, it's a shame it's got that chip on it. I feel like if I was to have this for myself, I would display it like this, just because I love the colors. It's kind of almost Art Nouveau in style. I think I'm gonna forgive that chip, even with Andrew screaming in the in my head. Kind of funny looking. <laughs> it's missing its handle though. That says Murano. It says second, it says made in the technique of Murano, <laughs> $17. They've got it at $6.99. So even though it says Murano in big letters, the small print says made in the style of. So that's not something we want. Here's another coiled vase. Looks like something I made in third grade. Here's something cool down here. I just picked up something similar the other day with cats on it. This is $1.99. Bill did this. He did a good job. Good job, Bill. It's a nice mid-century decor. Where is a coffee pot? It's kind of neat. The lines of it. They have $2.99 on it. There's probably a little bit of money to be made. I wish we could find some matching mugs. That would be fantastic. I see a theme happening here now. Those look like they could be Japan. I guess we would have to peel the sticker to find out. Come on. Made in Korea. Okay. That was close. I do like the sunflowers, but there are some condition issues. First, I thought those might be Fulps or <laughs> Fiesta, $2.99. I don't think they are. They're petals by Oneida and they are all chipped up on all of the edges. That's kind of pretty. Bunch of flowers on that. I think it's probably a vase. Looks like somebody probably rolled out the pattern. It is marked on the bottom, $3.99. Hmm, you know what? I'll pick that up as well. Looks like they've got quite a few art pottery pieces out today. 145. 21. I wonder if that's 2021. Um, it's a very heavy weight though. It doesn't really speak to me all that much. Right. I 
like the looks of this down here. I'm going to pull that out and get a closer look. I think that's kind of the same concept with that clay. This is the same name on it, 2019. I wonder if that's what the vase says as well. Hmm. Here's a cute tray. It's got some condition issues though. Is it Fitz and Floyd? I don't know. Well, Howard Christmas tree here, but you can see that it has been glued back together. An English hunt scene? No, it's an English pub scene. Oh my gosh, look at this daisy, uh, daisy stuff. Let's check that out. What does it say on the bottom? Poppy Trail. Those are super cute. There's a bunch of, uh, oh my gosh. There's a ton of plates there. Little plates, all the plates. I think I'm going to grab that. Absolutely love those plates. Those are so cute. Ah, oh, that's got a chip on it. There's a Jeanette Iris and Herringbone vase. They don't have a whole lot of resale value though. It is pretty. Here is a teapot. It looks like it's got some schmutz in there though. <laughs> oh, it's a musical teapot. So it's not intended to be used, I guess? Or maybe it is and it's just all clogged up. I'm not really sure. There is a break on the handle though. At the Crab and Lobster. <laughs> And they're not even sitting next to each other. <laughs> I feel like you should buy that and put that together. 520 pieces. Maybe I should. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Avon. Oh, Avon. Avon. Oh, it's Avon. Avon. It's cute. Too bad if someone was like, you want a cookie? And then chipped up all the things. I'm glad you came along to remind me that I was in you the process were. of peeling the sticker when I noticed <laughs> the whole Howard over there. The whole Howard Trump thing. I know. I was like, oh, wait. Whoa. What is that? And that's a shame that it's broken. It's a, oh, there's a fourth one right here. Look, aren't you so happy I am keeping yes, track of Jocelyn, you? thank you. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I was checking out this kitty cat, um, Sylvia Cooper, right? I think that's what it sells. Yeah, I love the kitty cat. Um, it is plastic, made in Italy, $1.99. Oh, it's actually got some, oh, the more puppy trail. That's what I have in my cart. I do. So it looks like Dagny's going to get the apricots. I think that's the color. Is this apricot? I think so. It was a pinky color, so I think that's it. And then I get the salt and pepper thing like that. <laughs> you have to get rid of all that salt. Yeah. I might as well get I would. Might as well. Might as well. Um, we looked at the plates and they sell for like 10 to 12 bucks a piece, same as the Daisy set that I picked up. So we both got a little poppy trail today. That looks like it could be Lennox. $3.99. Oh, there's probably not a whole lot of room there. This little vanity dish. <laughs> it's a modern vanity dish made to look old. I remember my mom having these. Those are Tupperware, aren't they? <laughs> That's nostalgia right there. Maybe I need some new uh, measuring cups. Okay, I do. Let's match the... Yeah, they kind of match. They're a different color though. Maybe not. Yeah, he just set those on the shelf. Those are great. $2.99. Oh, that one's really pretty. I feel like that probably has a stopper somewhere in the bin. Because it's ground on the inside. That's the dead giveaway. That looks like a um, genie. It does. And there's probably a stopper. We're going to have to follow him for a stopper. <laughs> it's a pretty uh, hand-painted dish. Thomas Bavaria. These are really pretty too. There's some serious condition issues with those though. $12.99 on that guy. Our little buddy who's uh, 
crying blood is still here. A lot of you commented on the video and said that those were actually sold at CVS. I still don't understand the purpose of it though. It's a little strange. I was really hoping that I could maybe find the lid to the stopper, but um, <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm here checking the purple section to see if maybe it got set over here. That's cute. I know a few people who could use that. That basket down there looks interesting. Kind of looks like a um, South Carolina sweetgrass basket. Obviously, uh, there's some, oh, well, you know, it's actually a pine. You can see the pine needles there. It's $4.99. There are some condition issues. Um, I've seen before where people have actually sewn it together to fix it. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. And it's only $4.99. I think I'll give that a shot. That looks like it's got some age to it. Look at the frame. Oh wow, there's something on the back. 1932. La Trappe, Canada, July 1932. Wow, that's really cool. Okay. What else is down here? <laughs> that's interesting. I picked up that um, space artwork the other day. This one's kind of futuristic, but I think I'll pass on that one. So I'm curious what that is. Let's check it out. It is a, a covered bridge in fall, limit five tons. John Billack? Kind of like that, four ninety nine. It's definitely a fall, um, fall painting. It would look really a lot better if it was framed, but um, it should be pretty easy to ship. <laughs> All right, waited for uh, for a while to check out the artwork. This is by that same artist um, who <laughs> did a lot of the art pottery that I've been finding today, and uh, kind of like this one too. I don't know, I think I like that it's kind of simple. So I'll pick up that vase as well. And then, um, I was just noticing these. I think I maybe looked at these before. Maybe not. Those definitely have some age to them. There's three there. I wonder if the um, little teacup has a name on the bottom of it, because the plates don't. Looks like there's three of them here. This one has something on the bottom of it. It says Pate, something Pate, pottery established 1840 and it's Harker. So there is uh, three here on the shelf, that's all I'm really seeing. I think I'm going to take a moment to look those up. So I really like the color of these, but I did look them up in a set of four cells for like 20 bucks and I only have three and they're $1.99 a piece, so I don't think it's really worth it for me. But it might be to somebody else. Is this actually rattan? It is. That's a nice little shelf. It is $2.99, but there is damage there on the edge. So we're gonna leave that. Look at you, fun sponging. You're right, they do. I didn't see those earlier. And here is a sunshine. Kind of like that one. Kind of like this one. It's still got dirt in it. <laughs> It's just ready to go. It kind of goes with my 1970s theme that I have going on in here. This is the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And that's hand embroidered. And look, it's dated 1932. Wow. Isn't that cool? Received at her Trappist Monastery in Canada. That's really neat. Yeah, I was like, oh, that frame is old. Yep. That's the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Thank you. You're welcome. Dagny. Catholic teacher lady. <laughs> so I have kind of a 1970s theme going in my cart today, and I'm kind of happy with it. <laughs> it's like 1970s. Um, but I'm going to check out now, and I will get back to you in the car with a total. Okay, well, my total spend here today was $60. 
not bad at all. I feel like we got some really cool stuff. There was a theme going in my cart, and once I realized there was a theme, I think I just kind of ran with it. Uh, so it was like 1970s themed with a few others thrown in there, like that cat tray. That was just too cool to leave behind. But I'm going to get out of here now. I am probably going to head back to the shop and do a few listings. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. The next day. Okay, well, I've brought you guys back to the shop to yet again dig through some of our auction boxes. Here on the tray, I have emptied one of our boxes, and I was going to go through this stuff with you guys real quick. Uh, we have a copper vase with some oxidation. This was part of a larger lot, and uh, so this is kind of just an extra. I'm not sure exactly what was in the lot, but that is an extra. This is McCoy probably part of their flora line because it is just kind of plain and uh, they had plain pieces for the floras because they didn't want to subtract from the beautiful flowers so I'm assuming this is probably part of their floral line this is really pretty with dragonflies on it and it is marked on the bottom MMA so this is a modern museum of art it's uh, just a replica of a piece that they probably have there on display or something is that our Metropolitan Museum of Art? I always get the two confused, but it is MMA. Here is some more art pottery. That one is not marked. Unfortunately, I did just notice there's a chip there, so we we'll probably won't uh, list that one. This is a stone tool. This would have uh, been a, a piece that um, the Native Americans used as an axe, it looks like. Or it could have been a grinding stone. I think Andrew bought this. He sells a lot of artifacts uh, through the antique mall. This one right here is also an axe. And I couldn't tell you the age of these, but they are old. And they're two different styles because this one is a groove. And this one is not. Here is an art pottery head. <laughs> it's kind of me to look like the outsider art, I think. It's really nicely sculpted, and it's just marked V, or I don't even know. I don't know what that says. It's a cool jug. Here we have a little Italian um, artwork. I thought when I was bidding on this that it was pottery. I don't know why I thought that, because clearly on the back it is wood. But it says Creazione Originale, made in Italy. And this mother is serving her daughter some fish. What a nice scene. Okay, this is consolidated glass. And, uh, I, you know, I've always been surprised that this doesn't sell better than it, it does. Um, because I think it's really nice glass. Here is a Jack in the Pulpit vase. I believe this is Fenton Spanish Lace. Pretty sure that's the design on there. I could be wrong. That's a cranberry opalescent glass. Here is some more art pottery. And some more art pottery. This one looks like it may have had a lid, but I'm not positive on that. Those two are very similar. But they're not signed. And then this covered dish. Set that there. No markings on that either. Oh wait, nope, there we go. K-E-I-S, possibly, or Y-E-I-S. There you go. Covered dish. There are some glasses back here. I think these might be Pilsner glasses because of their shape. They have this art glass base to them, and that's really what attracted me to these, is I thought that was a really neat feature. So two, four, six, we've got eight of them. So these will probably be a buy it now because we've been listing a lot of our glasswares by it now. It seems to do better that way than at auction. There you go, that's everything on our cart. We have yet another box, and uh, I think the most amazing piece here is probably this vase. They did not have it marked for what it was, they just said art pottery vase. This is a Hager Earth Wrap. Comes in cream and also brown. Obviously this is the brown. Um, it's in really good condition and it's very tall, which I like about it. There's no markings on the bottom because it was usually marked um, with a sticker, I believe, or a piece of felt on the bottom that said Royal Hager. Uh, this little guy looks like he could be Pilgrim. That's a guess. I'm going to assume he is. 
This is Burt Hill Valian Hippo. He made, he, well, he designed these flat animals. So a lot of the times we come across the dogs. Obviously this little guy is a hippo. Not sure what he's supposed to be holding, but whatever it is, is missing. This one is likely made in China just because the quality of it is not really up to par with a lot of the glass we deal with, but I still love the bright green. A little fishy here. This is a bird whistle. Colonial Williamsburg, 2011. <coughs> this is just a kind of boring face. <laughs> not really excited about that one. Uh, and then this was really interesting, just the way that it's constructed. It's got this really globby handle. A lot of the art glass baskets that I find have very thin and fragile handles, and this one's just like really uh, hefty. <laughs> so uh, the bottom is smoothly polished and uh, so that's, that was a curious definitely a curious piece but, uh, that was everything in the next box and uh, we got some good stuff and in the next box we have a ton of chintz and I don't think I realized how much chintz I bought until I unpacked it and I was like whoa <laughs> I bought a lot of chintz um, so the chintz is this really busy floral pattern I prefer to buy the pieces that are made in England, although there are a lot that are made in Japan. I think that everything we have here is the same pattern. It is made in England, Nelson Ware. This sells really well for us in the springtime because it's really floral and uh, it's just beautiful. So here is all of the chintz. Obviously we have little cups and saucers. This one unfortunately does have a crack, it appears. And there is some discoloration on the pieces, but they are older. This is Royal Albert. These little shakers actually go right on that tray, just like that. I think the, this might go on here. So there you go, that is all of the chintz. This is an open sugar. And I'm not sure if that would be the creamer. That seems awfully large, but... Um, so yeah, lots of chintz and then this bird, which I suspect is Fitz and Floyd. Yes, it is Fitz and Floyd. I thought it was Fitz and Floyd. I just thought that was so sweet. Uh, the mother goose with the baby. And I was a little concerned that there might be damage, but I checked it over when I unboxed it and there was no damage on that. So that's fantastic. But, um, here is all the springtimey stuff and, uh, really excited for that chintz. We... <laughs> purchased this. I thought maybe this would be a uh, Royal Dalton. There are no markings on the bottom though, except for an, a stamp, but it has that tapestry texture um, that I know Royal Dalton did. So I'm not 100% on this one, but it is a really nice quality piece. And so it might take a little bit of more research, but definitely a great, great um, piece. And I believe it's a biscuit jar. You can see there is a tower with a bridge. I'm kind of obsessed with it, but <laughs> it's not really my style. I don't need it. Uh, back here is this very whimsical head vase. And this was made by Palmer. You can see it signed there on the back. We had another piece by this same artist. It was a camel taxi. And uh, this is another piece of her work. Um, <laughs> but it's just very whimsical, uh, very similar in style to the taxi, the camel taxi. So I saw this, I saw the name on it, I knew the artist um, from previous experience and I knew we had to have it. Here we have a duck. <laughs> there are no markings on the duck, it just looks like a pottery rubber duck. Here is a stoneware vase. See there is a signature on the bottom but you can't, it's, it, I'm never going to be able to decipher that. Here we have a tumbler or possibly a vase. This one is signed with a stamp. And it is coal pottery. It looks like a something coal pottery. I like the glaze on that. Sorry, I just realized I never turned the lights on, so it's a little dark in here. This is Namaji. Namaji doesn't have a terribly high resale value. Um, I mean, this is probably 18 to 24, and that's off the top of my head guessing, uh, unless the prices have changed since the last time I sold it. And this guy, 
he reminded me of almost Pigeon Forge, but I don't know for sure. The dirt came free. He's definitely a bear. I'm pretty certain that's a bear. And he's a planter. This lady right here, I don't normally buy Yadros. It's not my thing. But she <laughs> has a squirrel with her. And this figurine sells at times for upwards of $200. Um, there was a little bit of a discrepancy there, so I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure why there was a discrepancy when I was looking at the the sold comparisons, but she seemed to pretty consistently sell for over $200. Now there is one condition issue: the flower in her hand is missing one of the petals, but the rest of them, to my surprise, even on her hat, look to be intact. Although that one's a little wiggly, that's making me nervous. I mean, it's wiggly, but it's in there. <laughs> like Juliet's tooth the other day, right, Sissy? She lost another tooth. Now, this one I bought for myself because I just loved the subject matter. I didn't pay very much for it because the neck has been reattached. And uh, I just, I love that she's cradling this bird. <laughs> I think it's probably Staffordshire. Uh, that would be my guess. There are no markings on it, but what's very interesting about this piece is you can see a seam there, and then somebody sealed it, and they sealed it with cement. It's not the mid-century style that I usually have, but the subject matter with the bird and dog, it was just... I like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little segment. Over the past few days, we have been digging through the auction winnings, um, and we're almost done. All that's left is jewelry, but um, I will film that and post that for you guys in a few days. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.